Now let's take a look at some other stories from around Taiwan. Temperatures across Taiwan have dipped as low as 16 degrees Celsius in the past two days under the influence of the northeast monsoon. As a cloud system over South China moves eastward, rain has begun in Taiwan tonight and the cold and wet weather will continue until Sunday. Starting next week, the weather will improve and areas all over Taiwan could see temperatures climb as high as 29 degrees Celsius. One of the specialties of New Taipei's Gungliao district is abalone farms and the beginning of winter signals the start of the abalone harvest season. The Gungliao Fishermen's Association is offering a limited edition of 200 promotional abalone packages at just over 80% of the market price, hoping shoppers will rush to snap them up. The association is even holding a Gungliao abalone photography competition. The Council of Agriculture held a press conference today to launch a new food quality and safety certification for radish and taro cakes. To qualify for the label, not only the radishes, rice and taro in the cakes need to have a high quality source, a third party needs to verify that high standards were adhered to through the processing at every stage. These high grade cakes may be a little pricier than normal products, but they give consumers a little more peace of mind.